Hey, Math 31, I had a question coming out of section 7.2, number 61. And I'm going to assume that the trickiest part here is how did I get from this word, this, this paragraph setup, to these three equations. It's, it's usually after that, that that things are okay. When you have your three equations and your three unknowns, you're like, all right, I can do it. But how do I go from all this, this giant paragraph to these three equations. So, so let's break this down. We'll do one equation at a time. So let me, I'll start with a blue highlighter. So it says last year at Haven's Pawn Car Dealership for a particular model of BMW, Jeep, and Toyota, one could purchase all three cars for a total of $140,000. So I wanna highlight that, that phrasing here because ultimately they're gonna ask me the price of each of these cars. Let me not highlight that in blue. So I, I wanna see that here, here's the first, first equation that's popping up. So if I define X to be the price of a BMW, Y to be the price of a Jeep, and Z to be the price of the Toyota from last year, then that's where I get this first equation. All right, so that's where I'm getting that first equation. Let me change over. We'll go to we'll go to purple this time. So the next sentence or the next couple of sentences says this year, due to inflation, the same cars would cost one hundred and fifty one thousand eight hundred and thirty. So I'm gonna have another cost um, equation. Something's gonna total out to one hundred and fifty one thousand eight hundred and thirty dollars as opposed to one hundred and forty. And it says the cost of the BMW increased by eight percent, Jeep by five percent and Toyota by 12%. Now we talked back in chapter six about exponential growth, right? So if you think of exponential growth, you have your equilibrium of one, and at least for the BMW, I'm gonna add 0.08 to that, or let me put a little, ooh, let me put a little plus sign, plus 0.08 because it was increasing by 8%. So there's the base that I'm looking at. Now I'm only going one year into the future, right? Because we used to have um, 1.08 to the X, that's how we would uh, um, figure out our base, but our X in this case is one because it's just one year later. So that's where I'm getting the one, oops, the 1.08 X, why is that here? The 1.08 X down here, all right? And then the same is gonna hold true for the Jeep and the Toyota. So that's why I have 1.08 X and then a 5% increase for the Jeep and then a 12% increase for the Toyota and that totaled out to 151,000 $830. So there's where the second equation is coming from. And then let me switch colors again. And then it says here, the price of last year's Jeep was $7,000 less than the price of last year's BMW. Well, the price of last year's Jeep, all right, well, the price of last year's Jeep was Y, all right, and the, uh, the price of last year's BMW was X. So I have this third equation here that Y is equal to X minus 7,000. So at that point, I've got my three equations and my three unknowns. So I have three variables and I have the three equations that I'm going to use to solve for them. And I get to use some combination of substitution or elimination. And, and I just start to substitute. The, the first substitution I make is I, I sub this equation right in here for y. And that's what you see happening here. And I also take this y and I substitute it into the second equation. So that's the beginnings of my substitution. And, and then you can see my work play from there on out. And it takes a little while, but I do wind up solving ultimately for X. And then we get Z over here. All right. And then I am not seeing my Y work. Did I not get the 42,000? Huh, I think I might. Oh, no, I can see it. Sorry. I haven't looked at this in a while. There's my Y work. I wanted to make sure I actually solved the problem. So there's, now I see you. There's my Y equals, there's my Z equals, there's my X equals. So those are the prices of my cars. All right, and so that is how we do number 61. All right, thanks so much. Bye.